I'm going to tell you about how a woman from rural India changed my life. The real shame is that I have to tell you, not her. Because like many living in poverty, she is trapped by her own circumstance and has no voice. The impact of hearing Andrew's story is that she became part of my story. She inspired me and in doing so changed my life. I began thinking about the significance of personal connection, closing the distance between us and them, and making global issues of personal. This has been the driving force behind my grassroots projects I've undertaken around sexual health. Inspired by Andrew and my own conviction in the power of stories, I started looking at digital connections. The role citizen media played in the Arab Spring transfixed me, and an idea started brewing. I did a lot of research, I made a lot of lists, and I came, up, I came up with various different ideas and plans. I started talking to Sadiq. He runs Future Voices International, a digital media school which works with young people in some of the poorest communities in the world to bridge the digital divide. Together we started brainstorming, sharing our ideas, experiences and passions. We found we both have personal connections to those suffering from HIV and AIDS, and we decided to merge our expertise. Unspoken Voices was born. Through Unspoken Voices, we don't seek to represent those living with HIV. We seek to give them a platform to speak for themselves, so they can join the global conversation and ultimately be part of the solution, because that is how you change the world. This summer, me and Sadiq are heading out to Patuchek, Peru's biggest shanty town, to work with some of the most vulnerable young people. Unspoken Voices works through two aspects, medicine and arts. Sadiq's expertise from, me from media um, is in sharing stories and stimulating understanding while breaking down stigma uh, through the vehicle of digital media. The second aspect of our project draws on my expertise and passion and my conviction that more than just drugs are required to create an age-free generation. We have to put the patient in control of their treatment and to do so we have to not only give them knowledge and resources to make the informed decisions but also to make them role models in their own community. So what shape does this mix of science and arts take? A film festival and a treatment centre. After the media training we provide, video cameras are given to participants to enable them to show us what it's like to be HIV positive in their community. These films are then shown via our website to the world and via a film festival to their community. In this way we are tackling stigma at two levels. We also aim to train them to act as volunteers at a, well, a much needed treatment facility in the local community. This project is based on scientific research, however we do not seek to dehumanise the issue. Theories and statistics have a place, but you can't quantify personal connection. We know that 35 million people in the world are HIV positive, but we do not know their names, we do not know their stories, and we do not know what it is like to live in their shoes. That is what makes Unspoken Voices exceptional.